Hi, my name is Mark Cohn. I'm a consultant with Vegas Team Bling for Five, and I am here to show you how to easily and inexpensively make a two by two portable tabletop display for your paparazzi accessories. So, bearing that in mind, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to go from this, which is one piece of pegboard and one piece of wood to something, by the way, this is a completely scalable design. You can make it two by four. Here's a two by four with wheels that we've started to put silver sparkles on. But what we're gonna end up with today is this, a two by two tabletop paparazzi accessory display kit. When you're done, you simply close it up and carry it out. So, I'm going to show you now, for less than $20 and about 15 minutes of your time, how easy it is to do this. So, the first thing you need to do is go to the hardware store, the, your big box store, be it a you know, Home Depot or something like that, and find yourself pegboard, and it comes in a standard 2x4 sheet. And then, after you find this in a 2x4 sheet, you go down the lumber aisle and you find the least expensive piece of 8 foot 1x3. It should be about 3 bucks, maybe 3 and a quarter. And then you take these in your cart and you find a gentleman that works there. And if you ask him nicely, he'll be more than happy to make all your measured cuts for you. And he'll do it at no charge. So. When you find a nice gentleman, you give him your 2x4 pegboard and he cuts it in half and when he's done, you have both sides of your 2x2 two two portable accessory display case. Now you take your 8 foot 1x3 and you need to cut this into two different lengths. You need to have two pieces that are 24 inches and two pieces that are 22 and a half inches. And the reason for that is when you make a perfectly square frame, you're gonna have to account for the thickness of this board. And if you don't cut the other ones at 22 and a half, it's not gonna fit properly and the project will fail. So, after you have the gentleman cut these for you and you leave the hardware store, when you get home, this is how you start to assemble your project. The first thing you do is you want to make sure you have a surface you can work in. And for me, that means I have to put a pad down because it hurts my knees. And the next thing you do is you take your pegboard and you put it brown side up. And when you do that, that means the white side is going to be inside your frame. You take one of your end pieces, you put it along the edge. You pick three places, and then you take the only tool you're going to need through this whole project, a drill. You make a little pilot hole. And when you make the pilot holes, you do that so you can easily put everything together. Because Without the pilot holes, what happens is you end up not being able to complete the project in a timely fashion or you have everything fit together well. So after you've made your pilot holes, you take the same tool and replace the drill bit with your screwdriver bit. You take the screw. It's a small half inch or three quarter inch by 364 screw. You put it in your pilot hole, of which you've made three, because you put three on each side, everything is going to fit nicely and stay secure. When you do that, you then do it on the bottom, and then you repeat the procedure as you fill in the other side. And when you're finished, what you're going to have is a one box that's been completed on all four sides 
And once you have a completed half, a completed box, you're going to want to put your piano hinge on. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And it's truly a very critical part of this project and a very easy part of this project. So if you take your piano hinge and if you look at it and place it down on your board, the piano hinge has a notch where my finger is. And that notch is like a measuring guide. And if you place that notch on the edge and then place the other end down there, there's a notch right there and that has exactly the same measurement. And if you place it on the end, then what you do is you mark your holes and after you mark your holes, you drill a pilot hole and then after you drill your pilot holes, you very simply take your hinge with the hinge side up because if you don't put the hinge side up, it's not going to work right. So once you've done that with the hinge side up and you have your pilot holes drilled, take your piano hinge and your drill and you use your pilot holes complete the project by putting the screw in each and every one of those holes that you made and then once you do that you take the second box that you've made by doing exactly the same thing you did when you made this one and you take that second box when it's finished and you lay it out You line up this hinge exactly the same way you did the other one. You drill your pilot holes. You then tighten down your piano hinge. And now you have a completed box. What we like to do here is we like to finish the project a little bit. And to do that, we usually add some hardware and end up like this. The hardware is just as easy to put on as the piano hinge was. Simply take the actual piece of hardware, put it down on your box, mark the holes, drill your pilot holes, screw it down, and by the time you're done putting the handle on and using exactly the same procedure to put a clasp on, which by the way, the hardware comes in packages of two, and it's generally two dollars for a complete set of two latches and a complete set of two handles. And there you have an amazingly simple way to create a 2x2 two two tabletop display for under $20 and in less than 20 minutes. So, bling on ladies.